Why are the findings in this new study so interesting? I mean, when I saw this study, I said, Megan, we have to talk about this. People need to know about it. So why is it such a fascinating and interesting study? I think it's really interesting because they saw that every embryo they looked at had mosaicism. But when we do genetic testing in the clinic, we don't see mosaic results very often. And so it is quite different from what we usually see. It's hard for patients when they do PGTA. We're hoping for normal results. That's what gets bolded on their report. That is what everyone is hoping for in their heart. And so when they get a mosaic result, it's not what they want. It's not what they want to hear. They don't want to see anything that says anything other than normal. And it could take a really long time to come around to the idea of transferring an embryo that has a mosaic result. And so I think the idea that maybe mosaicism is a bit more common than we thought, maybe every embryo might have this type of finding, might help patients feel a little bit more comfortable with using embryos that have this type of result. Yeah. So when I see a mosaic embryo, I tell my patients that's normal. It's not an abnormal finding. And I prioritize mosaic embryos just like I would an embryo that comes back in bold saying euploid, which means a normal set of chromosomes. 